Matt, how are you? Good evening, Chef. Good, to see, you? You. Good yeah. to see you. Good to see you too. Um, not only you're a wine writer, but you're actually Jamie Oliver's sommelier. Yep. You're his wine waiter at yep. 15. Yep. Now, yeah. you bought some wines Absolutely. that you thought were going to go well the with the pheasant. Do you, do you know what? I Please tell the me they're not all Australian. <laughs> they're not, yeah. There's not one Australian There's not one Australian. Wine. But do you know what? I think when it comes yes. to kind of food and wine matching, uh -huh. um, you know, I think a lot of people kind of get unnecessarily kind of, yeah. you know, confused stressed. with it and stressed with it. Absolutely. And they, they tend to think that, you know, the best matches end up being, yeah. you know, the most expensive matches. Yeah, and it's not crazy. always the case. Definitely, definitely not. And um, here, I mean, this is, the one word to describe this wine is that it, it's sexy. sexy. You know, it's sexy. You get kind of that sort of... Um, Dark cherry, yeah. get dark cherry, you get a little bit of spice, yeah. but straight away you're getting things like cinnamon, cinnamon cloves, cinnamon. Yeah, absolutely. you know, star anise, all the kind of things yeah. that you use when you're yeah. cooking the pheasant out there, all those kind of ingredients are starting to come through. And I guess that's one of the key things when it comes to food and wine matching. Yep. You want to look for kind of like similar sort of weight yes. between yeah. food and wine. Absolutely. You also want to look at similar, similar kind of intensity of flavour. And keep it sexy. Absolutely. Now, um, you're highly competitive. Yes. I am. I've got a test for you, okay? Three of the most extraordinary wines. I want you to try and tell me what you think they are. There we go. I'm not saying anything. It's going to be something like Blue Nun. Five quid, under. Mate. Five pound and under. Absolutely on the nose. Blue Nun. <laughs> well done. Uh, one of my favourites. The heat is on, big boy. You should always trust your first instincts. And for me, Straight kind away. of like, first thing I sort of smell is kind yes. of cedar. You know, it, uh -huh. it's, it's got, there's a fair bit of oak in there. There's a fair bit of fruit weight as well. Uh -huh. um, dark plum, dark fruit. You know, yes. straight away, I'm kind of thinking big, rich, full body grape variety. Uh -huh. Probably thinking New World as well. So. Really? Okay. Little taste. Huh? <laughs> Now the heat is on, and you can see he's looking nervous. Come on. That's turbocharged. There's some That's weight and muscle and intensity behind time. that. That's, that's kind time. of like, it's awesome Shiraz or Cabernet, from, probably from Australia. Here we go. Oh, oh. Well done. Did I say awesome Shiraz? Well done. Awesome Shiraz. Well done. Thanks very much. Oh, fantastic. 98, great. OK, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> OK. Instantly, what do you think? What? When I look at this wine? Yes. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm noticing the colour. The colour's nowhere near, near as deep as, the, as uh -huh. the previous wine. Sight's kind of probably the least important of all your three senses, um, you know? Yeah. Um, I mean, you can close your eyes and... That's how I always find it. A lot easier. What are you getting? What's We're going talking about there? a very different league right. between that wine and this wine. OK. So, so what it's not giving away much on the nose. It's pretty no? flat, pretty dull. Uh-huh. Soft, simple. It's even yeah. a little bit corked, Gordon. I can't so, believe you put on a wine that's just a little I bit I would not do that well. to you. Come on. You think it's, it's corked? just a little bit corked. I'm not going to argue Can with you. But, I mean, I don't mind fighting. But that's definitely not corked. A definitely little not bit. Corked. You do the cooking, I'll do the wine. So, oh, <laughs> oh. oh, God. Taxi. OK. Have a little taste. God, it's probably going to be amazing Bordeaux or something like that, isn't it? Three, two, one. What's the yeah, answer? It's Bordeaux. It's Cabernet-based wine from Bordeaux. Uh huh. Yeah. What would you pay for it? How much would you pay for that? 30, 40 quid. 30, 40 quid. You've been eating far too many kangaroos. You know that. That was a thousand-pound bottle of Petrus. Oh, <laughs> oh, <my goodness. laughs> I told Matthew, you. Look. For goodness' oh. sake. A thousand-pound bottle of Petrus. 1992, my friend. Oh, it's 90, It's 92.